The technique of induced sputum has been developed in the early 90s. The technique was proposed to investigate airway inflammation in obstructive airway disease like asthma, COPD, and more recently there has been an interest also to look at airway inflammation in pulmonary fibrosis. The main advantage of this technique is that it's relatively non-invasive as opposed to bronchoscopy. And the processing requires lab work and it takes time, so it's quite demanding, time-consuming and it needs to have some expertise in the laboratory. So it's clearly a, a technique which is difficult to obtain in every center. The technique of induced sputum is composed of two parts. The first part is the induction and the second part is the processing. Before inducing sputum, we need to perform a spirometry, which is an assessment of the volume and the flow rate that the patient is able to produce. And we need to do that because the sputum induction by itself may cause bronchospasm. So we absolutely need to know the baseline value of the spirometry of the patients. So we first perform a spirometry, then we give the patients bronchodilators. We usually give 400 micrograms salbutamol to open maximally the airways of the patients and also to prevent a bronchospasm that may occur during the induction phase.